Hello everybody, in this video I'll tell you step by step process of sending documents to WES or World Education Services for express entry of Canada. In case you are not aware of transcripts, I'll tell you what is a transcript and how does a transcript actually look like. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, Without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. Also, I do upload videos regularly almost every day now. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. So guys, this is an official uh, transcript. I got it from one of my friends actually. And this is from the uh, UPTU University Lucknow. Uh, you can check it out it's got a proper stamp how it actually should be it's properly sealed it's got three stamps exactly like uh, it has been prescribed in the WES uh, website it has got a name of the website and it has also got some space to write your reference number okay so just to give you an idea of uh, how does the transcript actually look like I have downloaded uh, the format of uh, the transcript from the same university where that envelope actually belonged to so you can check it out this is the format of the of that university and this may vary from one university to the other and one college to the other so if you want you can uh, you know if you're from the same university you can actually download it uh, from this from that particular link uh, the important thing to notice here is that everything is mentioned in this transcript so this is the transcript for somebody who has done a bachelor of technology from electronics and instrumentation engineering um, you can just check out uh, the that you know every semester has been mentioned over here all the details of all the exams have been mentioned over here starting from the subject code to the subject name to the uh, marks which have been there in sessionals and externals and in total so everything has been mentioned in this uh, format over here this is the ideal format which should be there and it is it should be signed by the registrar or the um, official of that university so this is uh, what should be there in that envelope which i just uh, showed you and now let's continue uh, with that video again so what you should do is write down the reference number on uh, the transcripts just in case the rarest of rare cases if it gets lost at least they can track it so this is uh, one transcript write down the reference number probably on the degree certificate as well and Keep it in the envelope now how your envelope should it look like it should be a good quality envelope I have uh, got this one you can see it, it's a good quality envelope and you can actually write down you know the reference number at the top of the envelope and also the uh, address of the WES uh, office right down there and of course you have to write down uh, your name and uh, your address in case it is undelivered they can return it back to you so now just uh, keep these two envelopes, uh, just one envelope and the degree certificate in this uh, in this uh, big envelope and just keep it and just uh, you know seal it, pack it and then send it through a good courier service. Now the uh, another case, let's suppose that you have done your masters as well and you have one more transcript and one more degree certificate. So this is just a dummy uh, transcript just write down your uh, your reference number in the other uh, transcript as well and it should be of a proper uh, kind not this is a dummy not just like a dummy one but the proper one so just write down the reference number and keep it in the same envelope again okay now let's say that uh, you have your uh, spouse as well you have got the reference number now this reference number of the spouse would be different from uh, the uh, from your reference number it will be a separate application but you can actually send them in the same envelope at least you can save you now few bucks for yourself you can keep the transcript and the uh, and the degree certificate in the same envelope and send it across to Toronto to the WES office just keep it like this of course they should have the uh, degree certificate for all of your uh, uh, your degrees and your spouse's degrees and just seal it mention the reference number of your spouse here as well and then send it across to the uh, WES uh, office in Toronto so thank you guys uh, you should 
just uh, make sure that you don't do any mistakes you can also keep your mark sheets if in case you do have the mark sheets or however they're not um, they're not needed they haven't asked for it but in case you do have it you can keep your mark sheets in there of your bachelor's diploma or the master's degree and send it across to the WES office thank you guys for watching this video uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet I just hope that this video would be helpful to you please like share and comment and please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed the channel yet thank you